I think when we, when we read poems, the, the, the sounds they make are as important to us as meanings. The, we're a, affected as much by, by rhythm and euphony and assonance and so on as we are by meaning. And uh, for me, I can remember the first poem that made a huge impact on me was T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland. There was lots in that poem I did not understand at all. Um, but that didn't matter. It, it, it affected me profoundly and I wanted to go on then and track down what this word meant and what this was referring to. Now I use quite a bit of Yorkshire dialect in my poems, some quite unusual words, ones I knew from childhood, but also ones that belong in old dialect dictionaries. And I think they're all part of, they can add hugely to the texture of a poem, that they have a delight in themselves, these old words and phrases. Um, and um, I mean, to take an example, there's a poem in the collection called Pendle Witches, and it refers in the course of the poem to a, a lemel stone, which is a stone with a hole in it, and that's what it used to be called locally, a lemel stone, and people know, know what stones with a hole in them are like, and they used to be kept as lucky charms to ward off evil and witchcraft. And in the poem, I connect this to the way that you might try and ward off what I call the hags who ran the Pennines and who wanted to trap us in the saucy peat of their moor. Now, the moor, the last word of that poem is spelt M-A-W, as in a mouth, though it, when you hear it, it sounds equally like moor, M-O-O-R. And I think it, it wants to be both words. Saucy, well, I suspect I invented the word saucy, but the idea of saucy peat, I think, is wonderfully evocative, uh, whether it's a dialect word or an invented word. We know that feeling of going down into peat, um, stepping into something that gives under us. Um, so I hope um, some of the words in, in these poems may baffle the reader, the reader think, I'm not quite sure what that means, but you're carried with the poem and the rhythm of the poem, and maybe later, if you're interested, you can go, up, go and look up that strange word and what it means.